I'm Dr. Jeff Marksberry, Chief Science and Clinical Officer for Electromedical Products, the makers of Alphastem. My role entails overseeing the research and the clinical support. So currently Alphastem has 32 studies underway, um, not only at places like MD Anderson, but um, John Hopkins uh, with UCLA, Walter Reed Medical Center in Bethesda, and all over the world we have studies internationally as well. Today we want to share with you a newly published study out of MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas one of the largest and most prominent cancer research centers in the world. So this study was looking at using AlphaSim technology to treat pain, and that's what they recruited the patients on. But because we also work with mental health disorders, they measured their anxiety, the sleep, depression scores. Um, they also measured medication use and functionality for the patients. They did this at baseline, and they did uh, the same test uh, week one through four, and then concluded after four weeks of treatment. So we're happy to report that all categories saw significant reduction, including the medication use, and that was specific to sedative hypnotic medication. Alphasim is very safe to use with no lasting side effects. There's also no risk of addiction, uh, which you can't say for many of the prescriptive medications these patients are, are dealing with every day. So far, all the studies that we've had, if you go to the website, you can read over 100 published articles, but they're done independent from us, meaning we don't fund those studies. We do loan devices to researchers when they want to do a study, so they're able to use our device at no cost, um, but the study is done with our hands off of it, so there's no bias on our part. If you want to learn more about the research, you can go to alpha-stem, alpha-stem.com, um, to our clinical research tab, and you can read all the full articles, as well as this study is on PubMed, so you can read it there um, from the Journal of Pain and Symptom Management. 